Man, listen. I, I don't have any words. I have no – I mean, I'm not mad at the DN pick. Okay, I get it. But you passed on Dean. Like, more than anything, you passed on Dean. Somebody who fits the, the whole mold of the Seattle Seahawks. Somebody who fits the mold of the city. Who fits the mold. I don't know if you guys have ever been to a game at, in Seattle. It gets live. Like, the, like the, the crowd is crunk. Everything is high energy. <laughs> You get, like, the defense is known for flying around and hitting people, and you have an opportunity to get somebody who could literally step into the shoes of Bobby Wagner. Nobody's Bobby Wagner, so let's not unless your name is Luke Kukley or whatever his name is. Okay, there's <laughs> only one guy that you can put in that category. Other than that, you need that you needed that guy. And then, and then okay, you believe it in doggone Drew Locke. That's the guy you believe in. Okay, you're gonna <laughs> roll with him. But your O line is still not what it needs to be. So even though you have Tyler Lockett, even though you have you know the, everybody, Metcalf, and all these guys, if you can't sit back there and run the ball because your O line's not blocking, if you can't sit back there and throw the ball because lock is not a lock, okay, <laughs> then what are you doing? And you, 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 they draft, they got Chris Carson. A solid dog on running back who has had some injury problems, but when he's healthy, he's a freaking beast. Nobody wants to tackle this dude. He's like a little swollen a fire hydrant going down the field. Okay? <laughs> then you draft Rashard Penny a couple years back. In the right? first round. In the first round. Okay, he hasn't turned out what you wanted him to be, but guess what? He's still on your roster. And he went over 600 yards last year. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> so now you're going to go out there and draft another running back? There's three running backs. What kind of rotation you plan on running? I mean, I, I, I like it. I like what they're <laughs> Maybe Corbin Smith can make some sense of it. Locked on Seahawks host Kainani Stevens is with Corbin. Corbin, please come in here and try to make it make sense for us because at this point, Isaiah definitely doesn't understand it. I'm not sure I do necessarily. Obviously, when you have back-to-back picks, you can be a little more flexible with things. Um, where did we get a running back out of this? Well, honestly, I'm not that surprised. Maybe I was thinking pick 72, not okay. in the second round, but this really tells me that there's not much faith that Chris Carson's going to be able to get back from neck surgery that he had in December. And so that's really the thing that's hovering over this team. They want to be able to run the football. Rashad Penny played great late last season, but he's had injuries. You need to have two quality running backs. And so I can understand it from that standpoint, probably a bit rich for me as far as picking it in the second round, especially with the talent that was still on the board. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, this is a guy that really fits what they're looking for. Extremely productive last year, athletic, can break tackles, a nice change of pace back that I I think would fit more in the mold of what Chris Carson has done. And he could be a nice one-two punch with Rashad Penny. Again, this is assuming that Carson's not making it back. If they think he can play, then I'm really baffled by this pick. Tons of edge rushers in this draft. They went with Boye Mafe, not Nakobe Dean. Had you heard rumors of this specific name before, or is this kind of a surprise? He had a top 30 visit with the Seahawks recently, mm-hmm. and they also talked to him at the combine. And so he's a player that has been mocked a lot to the Seahawks, including if they traded back into the first round. So I think it picked 40. This is an outstanding value selection. Now, he's a guy that kind of came on late at Minnesota. His production hasn't been great up until this last year with the Golden Gophers, but at 260 pounds, 4 5 40 yard dash, extremely explosive, can jump out of a building. He is a perfect fit for that outside linebacker 3 4 position that the Seahawks are looking for. So, this pick, I think, is a home run at 40. You can question the running back selection, but this was a major need for the Seahawks. And I think this is a really good player that checks off a lot of boxes for them. Should we look at this as a little bit more of a rebuild than they're willing to admit with maybe the running back selection here? Maybe, uh, and, and also might just tell you what they think of the quarterback class too, right. because not yeah. choosing one of these players here, especially when they've been linked to Desmond Ritter, Sam Howell, and Malik Willis during this pre-draft process, choosing to bypass them for a running back, uh, that tells you all you need to know. What everyone thinks of the quarterbacks, apparently, because we've only seen one go off the board so far. We'll keep an eye on things. Corbin, thank you for joining us. Again, Isaiah, I'll just let you simmer. Enjoy this. We'll throw it back to you.